Good morning. This morning I'm going to create a new broadcast that I want to send out on Thursdays. Now, there was a new one that Power Lead System created called um, Announce on Thursday night, but because they haven't created a new broadcast, they might at some time in the future. But I'm not going to wait for that because I want to make sure and let my list know about tonight's training Thursday night. But I want to make it generic enough that I can send it every week. So I'm going to go in to emails and I'm going to go in and go to view and edit first because I'm not ready to send it. I haven't created it. And I'm going to go because I don't really want this one. I'm going to create a new campaign and I'm going to call it broadcast. Remember what I said on my last one? Broadcast, I want this one to be for the training Thursday night. And I want this to be day of. I might create a different one later, but right now, that's the one I want. Now it's going to put me in my own set of place where I can now have, now I don't have an email yet, the only thing I have right now is the campaign name, which is going to show up in that list, so I don't want this to change, but now I need to create an email. And I'm going to create, make an editable copy, copy of, one of one of these campaigns. And that's what I want to do because I actually want to go, whoop, I don't want that. Add a new email to the campaign is what I want to do. One thing that's important with your subject line is you want it to be uh, something that people will uh, be interested in finding out about. So now I have an email with a subject line, but it's nothing else but that. Okay, so now we have to work on the body. We have just a subject line. And I have some information already from the last time that when they very first did this. So I could put this part in here and then edit it because it's not exactly perfect as a broadcast ongoing. But it can help me with the process. Now, I can either have it say their name or I can have it say my name. Now we don't always have a first name and so it's going to say not say anything there if it doesn't. So I'm going to say hello Linda here which I usually do with the top of my emails or whatever greeting that is comfortable for you or feels like you. And then put a comma just like you would with a letter. Now I'm going to say something after this. Let's see, after here. Has been wowing us with his knowledge. And we have a fresh new, brand new live training for tonight. You're invited at 10 p.m. Now, I don't know whether or not this will actually work because I copied it from somewhere else. So I'm going to make sure by putting my hangout Okay, good. We should be. By putting my Hangout link in there instead because I don't know for sure if it's going to be correct. So what I'm going to do is. 
put it right here. It's this part is okay where it says visit. And we don't need to have caption because the caption is something. So I'm going to put in this part this part right here my link. I think that works. If it doesn't work it's pretty easy to change this and it's a good idea actually to test for yourself always whether or not you know it's correct or not. So just to make sure I'm also going to make this a link. So I'm going to come up here and put it in here again. So we know that's a link even if the rest of this doesn't make sense because what's going to happen is that's supposed to stay actually um, hidden. So let's go ahead and save what we've accomplished here. And one thing you can do which is important to do whenever you've got uh, a brand new email is to send the campaign to just yourself. Don't send it to your list yet. Just send it to yourself. If you send it without marking any of those, uh, I have to. Oh, I have not selected the email. Hello. Yes, we got to do that. All right. So now my email is called Broadcast Training Thursday Night, Day One, Day of and it's one message by me. So that's the message that I want to send to myself. So I'm going to send it and it's going to say one because I'm the only one that it's going to send it to if you do it that way. And that's how you, f you test it. Now in a little while I'm going to test it. I'm going to look at it and it's probably fine and if I need to edit it, I will edit it. In, in most cases, the only thing that would be not right is that link. And the other way you can fix it, let me just uh, go back in and pretend that it needs to be fixed. And I'm going to go back to that same email where I was before. It's a broadcast training Thursday night and I'm going to view and edit this time. Now it's complete except for I don't think the link is working. So what I'm going to do instead of that is you can join here and then I'm going to take out that I'm going to take out all of this. In fact, that's probably the best choice because those hyperlinks, when you copy them back over, don't work properly. So I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to go ahead and save it again. And all you have to do now, and I know that's going to be okay because I have a hyperlink there now, is I'm going to go ahead and send this to my home list. Again, you got to go and find. That's why it's important to know what you named it. It's called Broadcast Training Thursday Night, One Message from Me. And then I'm, this time I'm going to select all my list. And this time I'm going to send it to all of the people in the list. And it'll probably send it to me twice, but that's okay. And when I get done, because I've been doing this, a lot of the people that were in my list, I actually have about 800 people, 
have been picking up and the more of them that do the bigger the list gets and also the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that email and I'm going to send it use it as a, a um, an actual cop something that I'm going to make a post out of on my see this is Thursday night I'm going to make it a, a, a post on my Facebook so I'm going to open it so I can get to it now you don't just want to put the email out there because that looks weird if you do that in Facebook so you want to change it a little bit So I'm here. And I want some kind of picture. And I don't get them moved. I usually keep them up here in the downloads wherever I've worked with. So I've got to look and see what I've got that could be appropriate for tonight. And sometimes it takes more than one picture. If it, you know, find something that is interesting that will create curiosity. Oh, that could be a possibility. Enter. But I'm going to use more than one picture. And what I really want is my email capture I did the other day. Where is that? And if you don't have your own evidence already that this works, you can use someone else's and say this is the result someone else has. But you don't want to uh, lie to people. Those going to be side by side that can be underneath. Well, let's go with that for now. So that's that's my image. And I'm going to cop, uh, make a, a post underneath this so it's going to grab their attention. No, I want it to be in here. So I didn't get my other part in there. So you can edit post. So this is what goes under the, on top of the pictures. Now in this case I actually want my, I have ahead of time, and this is something I do suggest you do, a spreadsheet that has my links so I don't have to go hunting for them. This is the actual power lead system funnel for our Thursday night training. And I want to put that there instead. And then I'm going to say a little more.
All right. And I purposely fixed it so the email do doesn't the the line doesn't show. So now I've put it on Facebook. And another thing I can do is put it out on Twitter, put it out anywhere else I am because this is something actually worth sharing with people. So that's how I get it out in front of people for the day. And I think this is kind of interesting. It's going to catch people's eye. What do you think? Let me know. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye for now.